So I guess a couple, I think it was yesterday or a couple days ago, um, there was this huge drama, big drama about, um, what's her name? Alana Pearson? Is that her name? Alana Pearson uh, talking about um, situational disabilities, right? There's a clip of her going online saying how there are multiple different types of disabilities. And I believe this disability chart that came out was from... Um, was uh was was from uh inclusive microsoft design kit right lana pierce okay lana pierce okay thank you thank you so uh the thing is i know why she said it right but the thing i think how she said it was what made it really really bad in my opinion right how 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 she said it was was basically really bad right and lana pierce so so i'm gonna look it up right now I think I do have it up. Let's see, Alana Pierce, uh, and uh, let's go ahead and look up the look up some shit. Alana Pierce is someone I have followed for a while. So, what are your what are your thoughts on Alana Pierce? What are your thoughts on her? Right. So, according to what I know, she used to work at IGN, and she used to work at Sony Santa Monica. I think I think she did some writing for God of War Ragnarok, and uh. And I don't think she has, right? I don't, I don't think she has any, any kids at all. I'll bring it up right now. Bring it up right now. So this is, this is, this is a short snippet of a, um, you know, couple seconds, what, 26 seconds out of 17 minutes of her talking, right? Did she have big breasts? I'll show you a photo and I'll let you guys decide. I mean, it's concerned. There are long-term disabilities. There are situational disabilities. There are temporary disabilities. It counts as a disability where a video game like Elden Ring is concerned if you have a kid. You have a two-year-old, you're trying to play Elden Ring, you can't pause. It is a situational disability that you have, where the game not having the option for you to be able to pause, for example, is a hindrance for your particular disability a situation gaming is concerned. Okay. There are long so, so basically she's saying that there are situational disabilities, uh, per permanent and temporary disabilities, yada, yada, yada. And I believe where a lot of people got upset is um, situational uh, disabilities. Now, the thing is the word situational disability uh, stems from Microsoft and their woke DEI garbage um, probably departments and made up these terms, right? It probably made up these terms uh, to try to get people saying that if you're being bothered playing video games then that's be considered a disability right because if you actually look up the the, the the definition of disability i believe it's um i believe it's like if something is stopping you from doing something right but the thing is this is um this this is a pretty shitty take in terms of word use uh wor word and verbiage that she uses the reason why is that some someone just basically makes people who actually have legitimate disabilities like what are you trying to say right having a kid is a disability but what, what about people who actually have disabilities right so um i know that um uh what's it called again oh lila hart um she's awesome i like lila uh, i love lila hart and she basically came out and said that uh she actually has a disability and a physical disability right and the fact that she's using She's basically using an analogy here. This is a terrible analogy, by the way, right? Talking about responsibilities and hindrances as a disability. The word is, the word use is incorrect. And I know that she said that this word has been used a while now by, in the industry. Now, son of a bitch, I work, I work in the industry, okay? I've been working in the industry for more than 10 years. Not once I have ever used or heard this word situational disability being used as for kids. Does having a dog consider a, a situational disability? Does having a mega, mega giant, huge boner consider uh, a, a, a disability? You know, I can't relate to that because I'm Asian. So like what is a situational uh, uh, you know, disability, right? So the fact that she's saying that, I think the word she's using is in is she, she and she's using it because she's mad that you can't pause an elden ring 
Okay. If she's playing on PC, I get it, right? But you can actually go to your, you know, your task manager and pause your uh, processor. I know it takes a couple of steps, but th there's an actual pause menu that the game does not tell you. It's when you go into like the help menu or something like that on um, on uh, Elden Ring. Yo, what's going on? Uh, H, is it Huey? Thank you so much for follow. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, we're, we're talking about Alana Pierce. Uh, we're talking about her right now and her situation. So, but if you're playing on console, on the other hand, Yes, there is no pause button, but you can press the PlayStation button. That'll bring you to the home screen. That'll pause the game for you. But the thing is that this game uh, from software has been doing this for a long fucking time. And if you're saying that, oh, it's from soft, you should put in a pause button because I have a lot of shit. You should put in a pause button. That's a 10 second video. You fucking farm that shit to 17 minute video. And then if you actually go to the video, which I saw earlier today, it's like 60% to 70% likes and then 30% dislikes, which is a lot, right? The thing is, her, ver her, her verbiage and the, the, the words that she used can be misconstrued, right? Because a lot of people will be like, oh, she's saying, is she calling a kid a disability? She doesn't have any kids, right? She's probably one of those people who will become a dink, right? Dual income, no kids, right? She'll probably become one of those type of people. And eventually she will understand what it means, right? For me, if my wife needs something, there's an emergency. She calls me, hey, can you come here really quick? I just, I was like, hey, I'll be right back. I, I put down my controller. And I am currently playing Elden Ring. I'm playing the DLC, right? So if my wife needs something, if there's, you know, my, my, my son needs something. There's an emergency that I, I, I need to take care of my dogs or whatever. I put down the fucking controller and I go help them. But the thing is, like a responsible adult, you should probably play video games at nighttime when your kids are about to go to sleep or they're already sleeping. And I think that's the actual thing that she doesn't get. She doesn't have any kids. I'm not sure if she's married or anything like that. But the fact that she she's saying this, it, it is, I can see why people are upset, right? Yeah, I can see why people are upset. Now, we're over here. Chat, what are your what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Uh I'm going to scroll back up so you see full body. What are your thoughts? She purposely put a camera over there so she can come out wearing her clothes, okay? You, you ask, someone asked me does she have big boobs? Okay, what are your thoughts, okay? I think I think they're I think they're pretty nice. But she doesn't have a kid. You can tell she doesn't have a kid. She has a dog. Right, she has a dog. But if you but if you go down here, if you go down to actual right here, this is this is the thing that's, that, that 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 we're talking about right over here. This is from Microsoft Design Toolkit. I'm not sure how long this was ago. Permanent disability. You have one arm. Temporary disability. Arm injury. Situ situational uh, disability. When, when you're a new parent. Right. She's an e girl. Go figure. Yeah, basically. Right. Um. The thing is, she, 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 what she should have said was, this game should have a pause button. End video. You, you could have made it into a short, right? She's farming. I get it, right? You're single. Probably single. I'm not sure. But the thing is, for people who actually have kids, right? People in the chat have kids. More like responsibilities, not disabilities. Exactly, right? People who have kids, I have a kid. There are people who have multiple kids, right? Calling that situation a disability, it's not just on her, but it's absolutely on Microsoft's fault, right? Because they're like, oh, we, we want people to play more games, right? So we call it a disability. It's, it, it, it's, it's so stupid, the word that's being used here. And I think that's the reason why people are upset with the video, right? Am I... Now, in terms of her actual like content and her context of you should have a you, ha you should have a pause button in Elden Ring. How about you don't fucking care if you lose your souls It's a fucking game. Right, it's a game. Who cares if I die? I die in a game. If I lose my progress, I lose my progress. Does that come before your disability? Absolutely not. And that's where people are upset, right? I understand the situation of this disability for new parents. If she just gave birth four days ago and needs to go relax and heal, not because she has to tend to her children. Yeah, and here's the thing. 
If you guys don't know, she's a woman, right? And ho hopefully I'm not getting catfish here. I'm, I'm pretty sure she's a woman. She... She will go... If she has kids, she'll go to this thing called postpartum. And postpartum is different for every woman. And it fucking sucks. My wife went through a different postpartum that I have to... I have to go through with her. Right? And it took her a year for her to get over her postpartum. It still lingers here and there. But the thing is that Alana Pierce does not know what postpartum is because I think that she'll probably be alone, right? The fact that she, she, what she should have said was, oh, this probably should have been the word that was used, but it is, right? Right, how about she make her own game then? No, she doesn't, she doesn't have the ability to. She got, she's no longer working at Sony Santa Monica. If she was that good at, at, at doing what she does, she would work at Sony Santa Monica. But you got, got to know that she also worked at IGN. So that says a lot, right? Now, now she's doing YouTubing, I guess. But yeah, it's um, yeah. So, 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 so I can I understand where, she, where she's coming from, but I don't agree with her, right? You get over here, that uh, Anna, the that Star Wars girl. Shout out to Anna. I uh, said so this is one of the dumbest things I've ever ever watched. Maybe spend more time with her kids. Uh, while they're awake instead of playing video games you can always play while they're asleep but claiming your child is a disability is fucking uh, absolute fucking bullshit vera dark says you've got a responsibility that's not a disability yikes yeah and the thing is that we're we're not saying that what she's saying is what what her whole entire context is incorrect all right if you want to have a pause menu go fucking talk to miyazaki Right, who's a fucking god tier game designer and fucking creator of Elden Ring? Who you know? Who freaking uh, Elden Ring, all the Souls games, and a, a, a fucking Sekiro and Bloodborne. Yeah, she worked on Ragnarok. Yes, that game. That game did suck. Right. Let's see. Right over here, she just wants the pause button, bro. Exactly. Right. Then fucking say it. Ne like she and she did. I'm not saying she didn't. But the thing is that that should have been her video. I want a pause button in uh, in this thing, right? Bringing in this fucking, uh, you know, disability, social, uh, so, you know, social disability or to whatever, right? Uh, Miyazaki says games like Elden Ring have to be hard. If we really want the whole world to play the game, we could just crank the difficulty down, right? Man, it's a, uh, you know, it's, <laughs> fuck them kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit man but yeah it's uh the, it's just the, the example that she's used is extremely terrible she shouldn't have used it right she should not have used it i chat two two or three streams ago i was playing and i was playing online okay i was like all right i'll be right back i did not go to the grace do you know what happened i got i got raided by another player and that player killed me when i wasn't here did i did i get pissed off did i say god damn it man why do i why am i married why do i have kids why do i have responsibilities why am i an adult right did i ever once say that no i came back like what happened people said you died you got raided i'm like oh i started laughing because do you know why because i don't fucking care but if you care about your game that fucking much you can go back and retrieve your souls it doesn't matter your souls will be there your runes will be there. Right? Yes, hurt this the situation has been blown out of proportion. Should she apologize for using the wrong word? Absolutely, but I don't think she will. Because like, oh, it's, it's, it's been used in the industry long time, so I will not change. Right? So if you go back to over here, uh, he actually posted something right over here about uh, about her. Uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, let's see, uh, blah, 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 right over here, right? The co co community notes on me couldn't even spell example. So this, so this is the community note right over here, right? Uh, this is a wrong quote. The original video, she is talking about accessibility design and how it should adapt to a new parent. Situational uh, disability is an actual term used in development for visible example <laughs> in Microsoft Inclusive 101 Design Toolkit. Now, here's the thing. I think that a, this Microsoft tool and using the word situational disability, I know it's a thing that's been used in Microsoft, but I think this is a stupid terminology that's used. Absolutely stupid terminology that, that, is, that is used. I think, I, I think, it's, I think, it's, uh, I think it's retarded. But yeah, this is the actual thing right over here, which is which is stupid. 
yeah and that's new parent is considered situational disability and uh yeah it's crazy now if i should go to savvy uh right over here savvy right over here uh i would like to meet this person who come up, who came up with a situational disability microsoft chart i would like to uh, I would like to know why three of the four things are forms of disability uh, responsibility, and why they should uh, ins why they would insult someone and would say uh, say an accent is a disability as well. Wait, what? An accent is a disability? That's funny. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, chat room. Hey, chat room. Is the accent a disability? Is it? If I talk like this all the time. Is it disability? I don't think so. Right? Basically, I use it as superpower. Phil is disabled. Here's the thing. Let's say if um let's say if something happened. Like let's say let, let, let's say something happens, right? I think I heard this somewhere. I think I I, I think I think I heard this somewhere. So um so let's say, oh man. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna get fired. This week, your buddy is like, "Whoa, bro, is everything okay?" Yeah, man, there's there's a huge layoff. Like my dog's not looking so well, and like I have to take my my car broke down, and I have to take the bus to work. And my 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 dog, like, he needs medicine, like, or he or he's gonna die, and I'm about to lose my job. My other job barely pays me enough, and. My my mom's in the hospital. Like, I don't even know where my dad is. It just it just sucks, man. Life is really hard, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. And then his friend is like, "Man, that sucks." But it is okay, man. You have that funny accent over there, and you break the tension. That's the, that's that's not a disability. That's a strength. That is strength right over there. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. See, access are a challenge that requires thought and respect. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is in, in a way. Yeah, I get what you're saying. She spoke out of ignorance due to training programs she probably had to participate in. She wouldn't have tried to get her uh, to her point across with the victim card. Yeah. yeah she basically she's playing the victim right now. No, it just makes you gay. Oh man. Man, you can get a ghost star if you have an accent in Tard class. Yeah, speaky no English. Yeah, country song. Yeah. This guy here. So we see we're talking about the situation of disability. I remember your wife bringing very adorable situational ability. Yeah, in the streams ago. Yeah, like I don't, I don't, I would never ever consider my wife, my son, or my family a disability. Right? They're they are they are a joy, right? And usually people with ha people who have no kids will consider them disabilities. One hundred percent. It's because they don't know the joy of being a, a father, a mother that has a son, you know, that looks up to you and, or a daughter that wants, you know, that looks up to their mother as, as like their idol, right? They, they will never, ever understand that feel. I have three disabilities, <laughs> three disabilities, Phil, help. <laughs> you had three boys, man. That's a lot. That, 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 that's, that's, a, that's a lot of testosterone, dude. But yeah, uh, let's continue. To call a distracted driver a situational disability is quite the insult and the person needs to be mentally evaluated. Children are not a disability either. To do so victimizes yourself in a manner undeserving. And if you are a parent who can look at those words and not feel disgust, you shouldn't be a parent. No good parent would ever entertain a notion. Sorry, the notion a child is a disability. Stop being a selfish cunt and grow the heck up. If I decide a girlfriend is a situational disability, will I have Alana's support? Because a girlfriend will absolutely impair the ability to enjoy a video game. 100%. 100% this is true. Now, here's the thing. My wife is, is one of those rare ones that actually loves the fact that I can play video games and enjoy the stuff I'm enjoying. And the cool thing is that she... We and her have... A lot of similarities. She loves video games. She loves movies, comics, all the nerd shit. Like me and her, our, our likes and our hobbies are very, very similar. She loves playing video games too. 
So she knows when I'm when I'm playing video games, she's she's like, all right, cool. You know, like, how's your video game? Did you beat the boss? Like she actually cares, right? She actually she actually lets me buy all these figures, all these random shit that I have around the house. She lets me buy all that because she likes it herself. My ex of 12 years, on the other hand. Nope. Why are you having fun without me? What are you doing? Why are you playing games over there? Can't you come over here and, you know, talk to me? And like sometimes I just want a brother just want to play a video game, man. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it sucks. Yo, coconut with the 150 super sticker. Yo, thank you, thank you, man. Yo, thank you, thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. All right. But yeah, let's see. Um, how about being a woman with a blind level of trust in daddy Microsoft? Is that the situational disability or just a permanent one? Sud suddenly, those two things sound ridiculous, don't they? Anyway, I remember when politically left leaning people were anti establishment, wanted to eat the rich, and refused to bend the knee to Disney and big businesses. What changed? Were you all truly so weak that the moment they said, Yes, Queen? and waved around rainbows was all it took because they're uh they're just as corrupt as they once were but now it's done with flair your daily reminder uh that the acolyte will pay uh still paid women 19 percent less than men harvey weinstein's personal assistant is running the show and companies still discriminate based on race for positions ceos still get a massive bonus while laying off and destroying other studios and we're just pawns in todd howard's world and this is what this person said right over here responding nah it is factually called situation oh crap yo yo american ninja thank you so much for the raid man thank you thank you dude Yo, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Thank you so, so much for the raid. Let's see. It feels like facts versus a feelings argument. It might feel off to you because of your feelings, but that worked, but it's still very factual what it is called. No, it's not. No, it's not. I think they should... I think, and here's the thing. They're like, oh, it's just words, man. Why do you care about words? It's just a definition. Why do you care? Because, bitch, they change definitions to words all the fucking time. They don't even know what a definition of a woman is anymore. That's why words mean something. Using the word like disability, right? Imagine if there's a little person or imagine if there's, you know, a person who, um, who lost their leg, who lost their arm in, 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 in war, right? Got a purple heart. Uh, you know, discharge, uh, honorably discharged from the uh, military because they lost uh, a limb, right? And then they're they're playing video games, and then this la this lady who doesn't even have kids say, having a kid is considered a situational disability. That's why words are important. Definitions of words are important, right? Look. If a guy in a wheelchair basically playing a video game with his fucking messed up hand and his mouth is one of the top killer instinct players in the world, probably top 50 people in the world. If that person can play a video game, dumb bitch Alana Pierce can learn to cope with not having a pause button. <laughs> 